This is the Electric Fields Homework Booklet, question 34. First of all, you're asked to state in words Coulomb's law. So the force between two point charges is proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of their separation. You could refer to the data sheet to help you with the words. This is summarised by the equation f equals q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. But the question is directing you to answer in words, so this is probably the best format to follow. If you really wish to use the equation, then you must make sure you define every variable fully in words and you refer to the context of the force between two point charges. Next, you're shown a graph of electric potential against the reciprocal of R where R is the distance from a point charge Q. You could look up on the data sheet and see the equation V equals 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by Q divided by R. This graph is representing that equation. However, you are asked to state what can be deduced from the graph about how V depends on R. Note it says how it depends on R, not how it depends on the reciprocal of R. So the conclusion we can draw from this equation is that V is inversely proportional to R. Next, you are asked to explain why all the values for the potential on the graph are negative. This is really a matter following from definition. When we consider potential, the potential is defined as being zero at infinity. Now, if we consider this particular scenario, there is also a consequence that the charge Q must be negative. So if this is a negative point charge Q and we consider a positive test charge being moved further away from Q as shown by the arrow here, then it makes sense that you would have to do work against the attraction between these two charges. So that means you must increase potential going in the direction away from the negative charge. So if potential is defined as zero at infinity, it must be negative at a closer distance to the charge Q. And next, you're asked to use data from the graph to find the magnitude of the charge Q. Here you do need to bring in the equation from the data sheet and you can rearrange it to have an expression for the charge Q. So Q equals 4 pi times epsilon naught, the permittivity of free space, multiplied by V and R. Now you therefore need to get a pair of values for V and R coming from the graph. So if we take a look back at the graph, I have chosen the potential with a magnitude of 2000 and you see that that corresponds to a reciprocal of R of 8. So what you now need to do to get the value of R to use in your equation is to take the reciprocal once again, which is what I've done here. And that leads you to an answer of 28 nanocoulombs, consistent with the suggested answer. Next, you're told that a 60 nanocoulomb charge is moved from a point where the radius is 0.2 metres 
to a point where the radius is 0.5 metres and you were asked to calculate the work done. You may think straight away of the work done equation. So electrical work done, delta W, is the charge times the potential difference. So we're looking for, um, we have a charge value here, but we're looking for uh, the difference, the change in potential as the charge is moved between these two points. Now you just need to be a little bit careful remembering that your graph was working with reciprocal values of R. So R is 0 0.2 corresponds to the reciprocal being 5 and R of 0.5 corresponds to the reciprocal of R being 2. So looking back at the graph for those two values, uh, you can see it's the red lines that I've shown here. So 1 over R of 5 leads to 1250 volts, whereas 1 over R of a value of 2 leads to 500 volts. So we then just need the difference between those two values. So the change in potential is the final, take away the initial potential. So that's minus 500, take away minus 1250, leading to a difference of 750 volts. So simply now, we just need to multiply that difference by the charge given, leading to our answer in joules. Next, you are asked to calculate the electric field strength at the point where the radius is 0 0.4 metres. So once again, we're doing a conversion to get the value for the reciprocal of R, which is 2.5. And from the graph, um, it's a green line this time, you can read 625 volts. Now we know an equation for electric field strength. We also know an equation for potential. And just looking at these two equations, you can see how they relate to each other. And the electric field strength is simply the potential divided by the uh, distance away from the charge. So we can just take the value of 625 and divide by 0.4, leading to 1560 volts per metre. Alternatively, it would be um, perfectly OK for you to substitute in all the values required into this equation and it should lead to the same answer.